It's time for the ultimate Neo Geo collectible! Ta-da! Hey, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Wicked Gamer Hand Collector. It's just awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's video we are going to talk about this Neo Geo collectible cabinet. But this is not our typical cabinet that you can buy in your local store. No, 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 no. This is something very special and I'm personally very excited to show you guys what are we going to get. Because this is a fully 3D printed cabinet. It's from the company Play Minimal. I already did a cabinet review of his and I really like these cabinets because they are not very small, what you see in other videos of mine. Is that they are pretty huge and they are still very easy to play on. But what is also very unique, this cabinet is fully 3D printed. So I must say, even when it's made of plastic, it feels quite heavy and quite sturdy. But let's talk about the quality and how good is the build. What I really like about this cabinet, the cabinets all come with a minimal retro cap decal at the back. Alright, so let's talk about the quality of the cabinet and how does it look. Because this thing is 3D printed and with 3D printed, he is going to print the parts and then he's going to assemble it. But when you're looking at the cabinet, it does look very nice. There are some little minor details that you can see for especially here. That you can see this is a separate part that he basically printed. And this is something that personally doesn't bother me, but that is something you need to consider for yourself. Because with 3D printed, I think it's really cool that he's created something like this. But if you look at the decals and the sticker on the device, I'm just going to be honest with you. I wish he was used a little bit better detail of stickers. Maybe he will improve it with the next patch of cabinets. But it is something that I think that is also the Phoenix in touch to cabinet like this. I really like the case itself. It looks very nice even when it's 3D dependent. But if you look at the decals and stickers, they look a little bit faded out. But he paid attention to every single detail. For example, if you're looking at the cabinet in this view, you can see the little decals. And when you are putting the system on and of course you can turn the light up feature on and off you can see the little pictures at the back these were the let's say the little covers for the games that were included normally in the original cabinet and the light up feature from this point looks very nice but if you look at the light up feature it looks pretty cool from the front of the cabinet but there's a little bit of a downside what you can see over here there isn't a small tiny gap and this is because it's 3d printed so it's very hard to fit it perfectly. And at the back you can see that when it's light up, the LEDs are so bright that it even shines through the back because it's basically plastic. And that is a little bit of a bummer. But what I mentioned, this is a system that you can play like a normal arcade machine because it's not that tiny. But if you look at the control panel, this looks very nice. Having this very thin acrylic plate on top. It looks very nice and the detail and even the sticker beneath is very good looking. So if you look and in here you can see that it is a very good quality joystick, not a wiggle stick. And the same goes for the buttons. Very nice click, very nice touch. So that is something that I'm very happy with. So let's talk about the little button over here. For, because this is for starting player one and this is for entering a credit. But of course, if you want to use the credit system like an original cabinet, you can use this little coin mechanism on the bottom. So that's pretty cool that he even included this in this tiny cabinet to give more like this arcade feeling. I like it. Oh, and coming back to the cabinet, as you can hear, it's quite thick and sturdy. But every Play Minimal Arcade comes with a survival case, just in case you need to play. So what we are going to get inside this package is quite simple. Here we can find the little things we're going to need, for example having some keys because we can open the back up and we can reach the main board that's inside and we can just basically do some service if you're having any problems for example. So it's really funny that he's even giving you this. And at the end, totally forget to put it back in the box, where we go also going to get this 12 volt power supply and then you can see it, but it's a 3 amp 
So this is what we're going to get with the cabinet so that we're going to need. And all right, let's see if I can get them out. No, they're not getting out. But we're also going to get some business cards. Yeah. All right, can I get it out? Nevertheless, I already showed you in the video. Yeah, here we have. Ooh, business card. Looks pretty cool. A small way to relieve great moments. So let's talk about the back because here we have the little hatch where we go to get the keys for. Because this is the hatch that we can open up. Alright, so at the back we're also having the connector. So let's talk about it because there is something that is really bothering me. We're having basically two holes for the USB connection but only one is connected. So he needs to fix it. And we're having the on and off switch over here and the input for the power supply. Like the previous model, all of these cabinets, so far I know, are running on an orange pie. Yeah. Alright, so this looks quite nice, by the way. Hmm. And as you can see, it's quite thick. Alright, so I'm going to give you a little sneak peek inside and how everything is assembled. So if it comes to the honor pie, I know a lot of people are not very happy with it and they want to have a raspberry pie. But I think, and this is something he told me, that the orange pie are running way better with arcade games. So let's say it's true, but you want to play more than Neo Geo, I think you not even need to bother buying this because we're having only the four buttons and this is more like the pure Neo Geo collectible to play Neo Geo games. Let's talk about the screen and what are we going to get because this thing has a 9.7 inch LCD screen. It's not an APS screen but the view angle is pretty decent. It has a resolution of 1024 by 768. And as you can see with this view angle, this screen itself looks very nice and I am very pleased with it. At the back we are finding three little buttons as you can see over here and these are needed for adjusting the display and for the volume control in general of the cabinet. Here we can find two little speakers and they are pretty loud, I can tell you that. But how big is this bad boy? So I'm going to tell you, it's 70 centimeters in size, it has 25 centimeters in the wide and it's 32 centimeters in depth. But let's do a little bit of a comparison with other devices. For example, let's check out with the Pac-Man Numskull for the people already owning this device. You can see that this Neo Geo cabinet is gigantic compared with the Numskull. So let's do something also wicked, let's try to grab the Neo Geo Mini. And what you can see, let's put it on the top of the numbskull because it's really a mini Neo Geo. But what I think is really cool with a cabinet like this, that he even had made the choice to add the menu of the Neo Geo Mini. So what you're going to get is more like this Neo Geo Mini feeling inside this cabinet, but it's based on the Pi and you can add games very easily through the Wi-Fi for example. Pressing these button twice, you go back to the main menu. Alright, so this is what we're going to get with this Neo Geo collectible from Play Minimal. Like the previous model, I really like it. Yes, I know, it's flawed in some ways, but I need to point out this is more like, let's say in prototype, this is the first 
cabinet that he even made and he made it for me because I ordered it instantly. I wanted to have this one in my collection because I'm a big fan of his product. But I also wanted to point out the little flaws so you know what you're going to get. But in the future, keep in mind, he will fix these little things. So what I really like about this size of the cabinet is because it's pretty big, it's still fun to play. It got some amazing controls, the sound is pretty good. And in general, I think this can be a very fun experience. So I wanna thank you for watching. It is awesome that you're tuned in and I would say just consider subscribing, hit the little bell and I have a lot of great content coming up. So it will be just cool to have you here in the Wicked family. Thanks for watching and if you subscribe to become one of the Wicked family, this means I will see you in my next video.